All right, guys, welcome back to another Endless Than. This will be about Dragon Ball. This is going to take a long time because I'm going to be setting up everything and I'm going to start at 30. So, I'm going to try to think. So, you know what? I'm going to be doing this uh, as soon as it hits 30. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. The Saiyans are a warrior race that take and sell planets. They are humanoid aliens with, with amazing strength and have uh, tails that allow them to transform by blood swaves, which is basically something that the moon gives off. Um, every time they come back um, from every time they're so close to death and they come back, they get a Zenkai boost, which makes them boost a huge amount of boost in strength. Um, they were pushed off of their planet by war, and it is destroyed. They are, they find a new planet known as Planet Plant. They name it after the King, King Vegeta, and this is now, the name of this planet is Vegeta now. Um, the king and another Saiyan known as Paragus have their, have sons. King Vegeta has Vegeta, and then Paragus has Brawly. Brawly seems to have way more strong in the, um, more, more strength than a royalty, so he's got to be sent off and outcast, and he's left to die on another planet. But Paragus finds out about this and goes to save his son, but kills uh, another Saiyan just to keep him alive. Well, him and his son buy supplies and all that. Um, Years later, a low-class Saiyan warrior named as Bardock and his girl, known as Jine, have two ki two sons. The oldest being Raditz and the youngest being Kakarot. Um, Bardock has the power to see and uh, have a little bit of a future vision seeing Lord Frieza, the son of King Cold. He is the new emperor of this part of the universe, so he is um, the one who... Watches over the Saiyans, but Bardock sees him betraying them and killing them all by destroying the planet and all the Saiyans. So he goes, takes his wife, and goes to send his younger son, Kakarot, into outer space and save him by putting him on a planet known as Earth. And then Raditz, Vegeta, and Nappa, and I think two other Saiyans that don't survive the time jump, uh, they're on another planet so they survive somehow. Um, a death ball is thrown at the planet after Bardock is trying to save them, but fails, and they all blow up and die. Kakarot is found on Earth by Grandpa Gohan. He he's, uh, basically raises him. He calls him Goku instead of Car Kakarot, so the main character here. And then we have, uh, he uh, Goku hits his head at a young age, making him forget anything about Saiyan heritage. Bobo Brees is the daughter of Dr. Brees, who controls the Capsule Corporation. She finds out about the Dragon Balls, finds one, and then takes the essence of it and makes a ra radar, and then goes on an adventure finding a few of them. He meets Goku, who is basically using the four-star Dragon Ball as a spirit orb, thinking that his grandpa is inside that. Well, his spirit is in that. But um, actually, his grandpa Gohan was killed by him as a great ape when he looked at the moon instead of going to bed. So it's Goku's fault for, his, for Grandpa Gohan's death. Um, the, set, the Dragon Balls are seven orbs that if you collect them, and you will arise a dragon known as Shinron who can grant any wish, but you cannot get uh, bring it back and then ask for the revival for a person more than once. Um, <laughs> Bulma wants to make thing for a uh, a lifetime supply of strawberries is her wish um she comes up with Goku they go on to a, to a adventure um Oolong the pig is trying to trick girls into his house and become their he basically maidens and all that um 
Emperor Pilaf and, and his gang, which has Mai in it, are also searching for the Dragon Balls. Yamcha is a thief and a bandit, so he tries to take the Dragon Balls, but becomes Bulma's girlfriend instead, a boyfriend instead. Um, Goku res uh, rescues a turtle, which be which is actually the friend of Master Roshi, who's a turtle hermit, who's also a master of ma martial arts. He has a Dragon Ball, and he has a cloud that lets you, anyone with a pure heart can get on this and fly it. And its name's Nimbus. Oh, and there's also this power pull, I don't know, but the power pull, basically, if you just say, pull, get long, it gets, it gets as big as you want it to. Um, but Goku, uh, Roshi is the master of both Grandpa Gohan and the Ox King, who they later find out is in, is the is uh, the person who has one of the Dragon Balls in inside one of his walls, and his palace is on fire, so basically they take out the fire, take down the wall, get the Dragon Ball, and then his daughter Chi-Chi is off missing. He's his, you can have, you can get a reward for finding her. Goku finds her, brings her back, and then because Chi-Chi likes him so much, Hey, guess what? Do you want my hand in marriage? Oh, is that a food? Okay, bye. Um, and then they also do a world tournament. They meet Tien and Chatsu, but then they but Goku fails to Tien, and then they go. Oh, then the Red Ribbon. Goku destroys the whole entire Red Ribbon. He meets a rail, and uh. Android number eight is friends. Then there's another world tournament where uh, at the end of it, Krillin dies because of a demon, which was the son of Demon King Piccolo, and he's the one looking for the Dragon Balls, trying to get younger and destroy the world and conquer it. Um, Goku tries to fight it back, but in in between a little bit, Chatsu and Master Roshi die by it. Chatsu just sacrificed himself. Master Roshi, uh, his previous master, used the Mufuba to try to sh uh, see that seals Demon King Piccolo. But now that Demon King Piccolo is free, Master Roshi tries to do it, but he dies because it's it's a huge thing on the soul, which we learned that Master Roshi's. Uh, mass died by the same action. Um, uh, Goku is uh, finds Yard Shirobi. Shirobi brings him back to Master Korin. Master Korin, uh, he has a village underneath his thing. It's a bunch of Indian people. Uh, General Tao goes and takes out a few people. That's that's a big part of the storyline. Um, but. Master Corrin gives him sensu beans, which makes him strong enough to take him, take down Demon King Piccolo. Yeah, I'm sure Rui saves him and brings him back to to look out. Well, brings him back to the Kami place. Uh, no, Corrin place. And then he's like, by the way, go up and you'll find Kami's lookout, which is the which has Mr. Mr. Popo, which is the like caretaker of the place. And then Kami is like a god, but he's also uh, like the Guardian Earth. Basically, Kami and Piccolo were the same person, but they separated because, I don't know. But they, but because of them, they, uh, they made the Dragon Ball, so if one dies, the other one dies, and also the Dragon Balls leave. Um, but Kami is strong enough to make the moon appear, and is also strong enough to restore the Dragon Balls, which, because... Piccolo, after he gained youth, he killed Shinron, and he's like, yeah, there you go. Um, Goku comes back and is like, can you train me? And then he gets stronger, but his tail's taking off, and then he be goes into the hyperbolic time chamber, and he gets uh, older, and then comes back to his friends like, hey, I'm an adult now. I want to be in another world tournament with this body. He goes against Piccolo in the end, but he also beats Tien and then his fiance Chi Chi. Chi Chi has come back and seeks reven revenge for leaving her hanging, and they do get married but have a son. And that's it for Dragon Ball. I 
I think I got everything in yet. Short amount of time. Oh, yeah, and then hyperbolic time chamber is one day equals one year. All right. Yep, that's everything for Dragon Ball. I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up button, if you do subscribe button, make huge content, go to bullshit, that's my stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.